Bright Spot, sponsored by Connecticut Lighting Centers. Now it's time for The Bright Spot, your daily dose of uplifting stories from our community. Channel 3's Nicole Nalepa highlights some amazing volunteers in our community who are on the move, spreading some cheer to those who need it most right now. They're like, what's this cow doing outside my house? <laughs> Imagine looking outside your window and seeing a cow. Marigold the cow, that is. Adoringly known as the mascot of Connecticut's largest agricultural fair, the Durham Fair. We had our executive meeting and we were just talking about what can we do to brighten the community. Debbie Husher is the fair's marketing coordinator and now the mastermind behind what she refers to as Cowgrams. You go through everybody's Facebook feed and you hear about children missing birthday parties and you know milestones and that their parents are home and they can't they, they just need cheering up and it only seemed fitting to send marigold out to do just that it just put smiles on people's face and it's a perfect uh costume because she is quarantined in there <laughs> actually it's her 15 year old son jack that's quarantined in there they have to do community service hours so it's like what well, this is like a perfect marriage here jack assumed the role last friday and now he and his mom are quite the dynamic duo. What's the dab? What's that one? <laughs> he likes being behind uh, Marigold. He's not an out in front type of guy. <laughs> what started as a question on a community Facebook page. We posted on our Positively German middle field and we just said, does anybody need a little cheering up? Does anybody have any birthdays? Reach out to marketing at DurhamFair.com and we will make the visits. It has now grown to a calendar packed with surprise appearances. Right now, I think we probably have about 30 scheduled already. When they show up for birthdays, they bring a sweet treat to go along with their sweet message. Drop off the um, cupcake from Kim's Cottage Confections and just play a happy birthday song and, and do some dancing. They're even handing out old Durham Fair ribbons, but it's not just birthdays they cater to. There's a man, Henry Coe, and he has been involved with the Durham Fair for the longest time, and he lost his wife in March, and he's been self-quarantined at home. So out of the blue one day, Marigold showed up at Henry's doorstep with some essential items. We rang the doorbell, and uh, it, it truly, truly made his day. He was... Um, he was in tears and so it made us all feel good and I think everybody just wants to hear those good stories and do the pick-me-ups when we're all struggling through times like this now. And these moments are really starting to pick up traction on Facebook and TikTok. Who doesn't want to see a dancing cow in your Facebook feed? <laughs> as silly as it may look, this dancing cow is bringing a serious amount of joy to our community. And that's really kind of what this is about. With today's Bright Spot, I'm Nicole Nalepa.